in this video, we are going to look at this question which says the velocity of a particle depends upon time t according to the relation v is equal to at plus b over t plus c. What are the dimensions of a, b, and c? So this is the question that we are going to look at. Uh, uh, this is the one that we are going to answer in this video. So without even wasting time, according to the principle of homogeneity, what you should add, what you can add or subtract must have the same dimensions. At which is equal to b over t plus c in terms of dimensions. And at the same time, this one, at the same time, remember for c and t to be added, they must have the same dimensions. So t must also be equal to c. Without even wasting time, we are going to say this one. From the principle that we have, uh, about the three basic quantities, three basic quantities you have mass, m, we have length, l, and we have time, t. So here we have um, so t as the dimensions. So is equal to t having these dimensions. Therefore, c is equal to for this one, let us go to, to A. So B is equal to A T. So for this one, we can just multiply, divide by this and also here by this. So that this and this will go. And what we're going to have is A is equal to B over T. So velocity, it is meter meters per second, which in dimensions it is L like this, which is L t to the power negative 1 in terms of dimensions. So from this, we can plug in L t to the power negative 1 over t. When this one comes up, it is going to be L t negative 1, t negative 1. So since it is the same power, we can multiply or we can add the powers. So we have A is equal to L T negative 1 plus, my, uh, plus, uh, plus minus 1, which is negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2. So A has the dimensions of acceleration. In terms of units, in fact, it is the one that gives these units meter per second squared. Then for B, for B, we, we can use any relation. B is equal to B over T plus C. So this, we said J is equal to C in terms of dimensions. So okay, B is equal to B over T. So making B the subject by cross multiply, we are going to have B is equal to B T. In terms of uh, dimensions, we have for b, it is l, t to the power negative 1, then t. So this is the plus 1. So this will give us l, t negative 1 plus 1, it will be a 0. And n number raised to the power 0 is 1. So we're going to have 1. So the dimensions for b, it is this. And if you want to prove b is equal to let us put in the value for b, okay, the dimensions L over the dimensions here, uh, t. Let us see, this is what we are having, meters per second or length per time, which is this one for velocity. Meaning, b is correct or so. So this is how we need to answer this question. Thank you so much for watching the video.